Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, how are you today? Let me introduce myself My name is Dia Aulia Isani And you can call me Teacher Aulia Today, I am going to teach science for secondary 2 The topic is How plants grow Before we start our lesson let we start by saying Basmalah together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Okay, let we continue our lesson The topic for today are The first is a test for starch The second is testing a leaf for starch And is starching a plant Plants grow ever most of the length of the planet in our planet, every place, even in tundra or in the sea, there are so many plants. For continue our lesson today, we start with the story from the scientist. The name is Bernus Baptista van Helmont. He performed an experiment, that is the willow tree experiment. Helmont believed that everything was made from four elements. The first is air, the second is water, the third is fire, and the last is earth. Next, the, the treatment of the willow tree experiment are the first treatment, wagging a willow sapling and the soil it was to grow in. The second treatment planted the sapling in the soil and provided it with nothing but water for the next five years. The result is the tree increased in mass by 73 kilograms but the soil had decreased in mass by only about 60 grams. And what is the conclusion? The conclusion from Helmont experiment is the mass of plant is due to water that the plant receives. Helmont provided data about the mass of the tree and the mass of the soil. What other data could he have recorded? Can you answer? Okay, good answer. Let me help you to answer. The first Data what he have recorded is the height of plant and the second is the weight of plant. And this is the exercise that you have to answer. The question is if you were to repeat Van Helmont's experiment, how would you improve it and what table would you construct? For recording your result, okay, please answer it in your home and we will discuss it later. The next topic is a test for starch. A search for a food substance in it can begin by cutting a small and very thin slice of potato and examining it under the microscope. This is the picture of stretch cane on a dark background viewed using a microscope. The treatment, a test for starch. The result from the last treatment is the cells are found to contain colorless grains of starch which are quite difficult to see. So how can we see the starch? So we can add the second treatment. The second treatment is they can be more visible by adding a dilute solution of iodine.
to the slice. So we have to remember the load solution of iodine for make the starch turns blue and black like this picture. The next topic is testing a leaf for starch. But we find some problem. The first problem is iodine doesn't produce a color change when it is placed on the leaf. The second problem the cell walls will not allow the iodine into the cells. And the last problem, the green pigment must a color change. And the solution for this problem are we can put the leaf in a boiling water. This treatment will make it easier for liquids to leave and enter the plant cells. And the second solution is we can put the leaf in the ethanol. Why? Because the ethanol will remove the green pigment chlorophyll from the leaf and make the leaf crisp. When we do all this treatment, we can found the quantum starch in the leaves in a greenhouse too. And the second exercise that you have to answer, the question is, what was the purpose of putting the leaf? A in boiling water and B in ethanol. Please answer by yourself in your home. And we will discuss it later. Alhamdulillah, we have learned about how plants grow today. I hope this video can useful for you. Let's close our lesson today by saying Hamdalah together. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.